A New Yorker who lost his son to fentanyl is fighting back against the problem one note at a time. CBS2 investigative reporter Tim McNicholas takes us inside one dad's unique efforts to try to prevent other parents from suffering the same heartache. This is more than just a concert two, rehearsal. One, two, three. If there's anything that you want. As a musician, Rich Pagano has been through plenty of those. But this, this is preparation for something bigger. This is truly the most important show that I do every year. You see, Rich tragically lost his son Nick in July of 2021 to fentanyl. Before he died, Nick told his parents he wanted to stay clean and become a social worker with a focus on helping the LGBTQ community. Now Rich is using his music connections to plan a benefit concert to help LGBTQ people pay for treatment. So the fact that we can offer this to a young adult or anybody in the community that is resistant because they feel different. Money raised will go to a fund launched in his son Nick's name with the help of the nonprofit Release Recovery Foundation. The concert will be held Thursday night, just days after the DEA announced it seized a record breaking amount of fentanyl last year. It does keep getting worse, and my goal right now is to get louder. Zach Clark founded Release Recovery in 2017. There's hope because events like this that we're having didn't exist five or ten years ago. Last year's concert was a massive success. Overall, the scholarship fund has helped 18 people get treatment. If I hadn't got the Nick Pagano scholarship fund and gone to care, I'm 100% sure that I'd be dead today. And this year's concert will once again feature Martha Redbone and a stellar lineup of artists ready to light up the room the same way Nick did. He was a big personality and loved by many, and that's why it was so easy for him to become a welcoming entity at the door of treatment for people in his community. And you can still buy tickets to that Thursday night concert here at City Winery on 11th Avenue. They're available on City Winery's website. Pagano's goal is obviously to raise as much money as he possibly can, but he says another goal of his is to make sure everyone has fun because that's what his son Nick would have wanted. Tim McNicholas, CBS2 News.